Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Upgrade with Laszlo and Renewable Energy. Today I have a breaking news about the Raptor 5 2000 watt wind turbine I installed about 4 months ago. Recently there was a 27 mile per hour wind with a 40 mile per hour gust. Unfortunately, I was at work most of the time, but surprisingly, I was able to record some data when the turbine harnessed over 1500 watts multiple times. This is a very fast turning wind turbine and the camera is not able to record the speed, however, the MPPT shows all the data. I was trying to record the sound, how fast the Raptor 5 turned, but the tower makes a lot of noise so I'm not sure if you guys can hear. Please let me know in the comments. I know many times it looks like the blades are not even turning, but this is only on the camera. In real, the blades are turning super fast and pretty quiet. I was able to record some data before I left to work, as you can see the wind is just picking up and already harnessing between 3 to 700 watt per hour, but when I got home I took some pictures as well. Bottom line, if you are living in an area where the wind speed is between 20 to 40 miles per hour on a daily basis or at least a few times a week, or just you have a cabin or a weekend house, this turbine could generate a lot of energy for you. At my location, I still have to say that harnessed 89 kWh energy the last 4 months, this is not even close to my needs and it is very expensive investment, especially I had to buy the tower as well. However, check this out. When there is rainy or cloudy weather conditions for multiple days on a roll, especially with cold, sometimes it helps me out and saves the batteries from shutting down, like in this case, when all my batteries are at 17% and it is only 11 o'clock at night. I received some comments about the tower mentioning that it is a very cheap one, but I just want to mention if you are a one-man operation like me, a larger, heavier tower would be a little bit more expensive and harder to set up. I also want to point out the fact this is not something you set up and just leave alone for 25 years like solar panels. It is suggested to check periodically for wear, damage and it is a great choice for homeowners as a DIY project. Please keep in mind, the two most important things to check on a weekly basis before you decide to buy one. The wind speed that is available on almost every device for your location and the wind speed curve that should be available for every wind turbine regardless who is the manufacturer. Once you know the wind speed, from this document you can find out if the wind turbine will harness enough energy for you at your location. 
please check the links below how to set up this 40 foot tower and Raptor 5 wind turbine combination. It is available in English and Hungarian. If you like the content, please subscribe, that helps me a lot. And if you have a question or concern, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.